<laughs> Welcome back to Shelf Life. Welcome back. I'm Jason. I'm Jack. And we're playing SpongeBob again. Rehydrated. Yeah. New uh, new session. All right, wait. So wait. I don't remember where we left off last time. Okay, so we left off. We finished Jellyfish Fields. We finished, um, what was it called? Uh, I don't, Downtown I don't Bikini remember. Bottom with the with with Mrs. Puff with and Mrs. her cars. Puff. Okay. Okay. Oh, that was terrible. Oh, yeah, textures <laughs> take a bit in this game, too. There was an update for the game, but we didn't really want to do it. It was a software update. I don't think it was an update for the game. Yeah. What it, What would it even update for? Um, I don't know. Why is your phone update anymore? <laughs> that is true. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Goo Lagoon, though. Ah, uh, Goo Lagoon. My voice cracked a little bit doing that. <laughs> <laughs> This what guy. The heck? Why is he wearing pants at the beach? He <laughs> looks like a pickle. These guys are funny. They're also incredibly annoying. I'm gonna do summon a Nimbus Cloud above people. And yeah, then shock them. <laughs> 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 yeah, because you can hear the game audio a lot better than me because you get the headphones on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's it's funny. So what's the, what do these guys do? Oh, they just shock you, but then you do that and they're dead. Oh, okay. Also. Oh, wait, also. Is this a speedrunning tactic? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no, not at all. I, I, I haven't seen a lot of speedruns of this game. I, I just Ooh. the regional one. Do you look burned? Mm. You look cooked, Larry. Yeah, you look very red, Larry. Why God, you maybe you should get some of those. Wait, why do they make him red? That darn that's robot. like, I mean, yeah, that's like the well, typical he, cartoon thing. But He is red, though. But lob lobsters are like a brownish color. They're red when they're cooked. Same with crabs. Robot. You're like childhood ruins. Think get, about oh, yeah, it. You're right. They're like more brownish. Sunscreen. Yeah. I think your audio is on your computer. Is it? Yeah. I feel like I hear it. Oh, no. Everyone will burn. And then they'll get all itchy and peel. Exactly. You can't spend yeah, a day on the beach without it sunscreen. Is? Yeah, that I'm going to lower that. Way yeah. too hot. <laughs> I can hear it. All right, exactly. That All right, basically what he's telling us the is that the, there's there's there's, can get to there's sunscreen. That's sunscreen, and the robots hoarded it all because they want people to burn. How so, <laughs> terrible! <laughs> Maybe you can use the if you hit connect. And then you have to hit the reflectors and make but incredibly I, uh, annoying noises when you get it wrong. Like, wait, why why would robots steal <clears throat> sunscreen? I they just want to ruin your day. That's all they care about. What a guy. Yeah, <laughs> what a guy. Somehow I don't think he needs a hand. Too pretty. Can't take it. Oh, that's nice, SpongeBob. <laughs> <laughs> I just in midair, oh. just like I know what he's about to do. <laughs> I love opening presents. Fresh right. like a so what are these buttons for? They're just connecting like light. Yeah, you can you connect the you you have to reflect the light, so you have to kill the robot with the light. <clears throat> All right. Well, you have to reflect it to that one over there, and then you kill the robot. Was that like did Larry like explain that or something? Yeah, or Larry did I miss explained that. Guy's <laughs> <laughs> just trying to relax. We're completely screwing with his day. Where did the light go? Do I? Okay. It's still hard to to, uh, to focus. So, what? I don't I don't get what the water is. It's okay. So. It's oh my god! So it's considered goo, right? In, in yeah. the show. So there are actual phenomenons in the ocean, where th some pools of water are denser than the water itself. Yeah. And like water floats on top of the water. Mm -hmm. So it's almost like you got these pools of water and ocean inside, uh, inside I, the uh, ocean. I've seen something where it was like. In the water, there's like a cloudy like abyss. Yeah. But like when they like go that. in, they like die. Yeah, it's exactly like that, because that, that's water that's denser than the seawater. It's kind of wild. And then these fish are just swimming with it. Oh, yeah, I guess so. These fish do swim in it, which is technically... I'm getting all these wrong. I never get all these wrong. <laughs> all right, there you go. Pro gamer. Oh, uh, okay. So, I see. Yeah, then you go to the other one. Okay. Now I gotta turn to Patrick, and I gotta jump on all these. Dude, I'm gonna do it my first try too. How are you? Oh yeah. Yeah, we'll see about that. 
So how, wait, so how do you know when you can change to a specific person? Um, well, I just know because of the game, but uh, the bus, you go to the bus stations to change. Mm -hmm. And every, um, yeah, excuse me, every level has two different characters. Punch's kid. Punch's kid. Oh, 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 oh my god. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Assault Patrick. Assault. He just like leaned over and touched him. Actually, if you think about it, he's humping him. That's it. <laughs> That's even worse. <laughs> And he kind of likes it. Look at that. Oh, oh! <laughs> He's not running. That oh, is true. I didn't even do that. And down three pairs of underwear. Uh, so Patrick's just a pro humper. Oh yeah, he humps everything. That's his, that's, oops, that's his, that's his bit. Oh, I think it's this one. Yeah, okay. Oh no. I was not ready for that. The stress. <laughs> see, see, it's not that hard. I'm pretty Oh no. Uh, oh, I should I could have skipped this one. It's okay. You got it. Wait, so if you fall once, you just gotta restart this whole thing? Yeah. That's too much. Yeah. What kind of kids' game is this? <laughs> what oh. kind of kids game is this? It's a challenging kids game, Jason. This is the hardest one. And it's annoying because it's the last one. What the heck? First oh try. What did I say, Jason? What did I say? You get this, uh, I said first try, Jason. That was very impressive. <laughs> That's not cool. I like he's just taking it. Bought me, boy. Well, that's Sand Mountain, dude. Right over there. Over there, really? Oh, yeah, that's the Sand Mountains. I love that level. That was the one you talked about in, like, the previous episodes, right? Yeah, I was like, fucking, because I, I love... When I came on this game, I would just go play, go on Sand Mountain and just play it. Because I was like, I what, know, thir Bob. 11? It looks like they're Ooh, having Mrs. a lot Pope. of fun. Yes, too much. You can save the children. Bubble Bash, all the Oh, okay, so you have to save the children. Save the kids, the ones that Patrick humped. Oh, no, yeah. oh, those kids. You gotta pop the balloons that are making them float around. And, and that's it. Man. There's another one. People ask SpongeBob way too much. Oh, yeah, SpongeBob's like their errand boy. You know what I'm saying? I like the Assertive Side episode where he stood up for himself. Do you remember that episode or no? I do not. Is that that was newer. newer. That was newer. I mean, it's still I old. Oh, you know what? It does sound familiar. What do you guys? No, wait. Is that the one when he finds out he can fly when he blows his No, pants that's. Up? No, that's the, uh, just. I don't remember the name of that episode, but no, the one I'm talking about was, uh, he had, uh, everyone was asking him to do stuff. Yeah. And he didn't want to tell anybody no. Time for a little so then he got the assertive snake. side. Do you know the green part of a sponge? Like on the back of it? It's like a rougher side. Yeah. Do you actually know what I'm talking about? Th yeah. Well, th they, they had that and they put it on his back and then he started saying no to everybody. Uh, <laughs> so it was like a second him. Yeah. That's weird. I like that though. It kind of sounds I didn't, familiar, I didn't but, think uh, about that. I didn't think about that green part of him until I was older. I thought it was just some green thing that you put on him, not an actual part of a sponge. No, it's just it's just the moss and gross shit growing on his That's back. exactly what I thought. Here we go. What, what, did you get both kids that were floating? Yes. There's three more? Yeah, there's three more. But watch this shit. Man, Patrick, you're a one strong boy. Patrick's a big boy. Lord Patrick can take care of- Ooh. Rock. Are you stuck? No, I'm not. Oh. No, I'm not. I got <laughs> I a little nervous for a second. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jason, did you hear that, um, you know, they're remaking the Pokemon Gen 4 games? Did, did you hear about that at all? I might have. So, uh, me and a group of friends, we got ex we're getting excited over it. But um, wait, it's gonna be on Switch? Oh yeah, it's gonna be Switch. We're getting excited over it, but a handful of them don't actually want to buy it because it does look like shit. What does it look like? Uh, it's like, you know how the Animal Crossing characters look? It's very similar to that. that it's not like style. uh, like Sword and Shield, right? No, which is weird. That's what everyone was expecting, but now. Um, so the game and the graphics don't look great, and the game is supposed to come out in November, <laughs> and people don't trust. That's that's I a little think disappointing. Game Freak to finish it, yeah. 
Oh, it's not Game Freak, it's a different company making this one. Okay. But, um, me and a group of people, we're, we're, we dug up our old DSs and our old copies of Diamond and Pearl and Platinum, mm -hmm. and we're just going to replay it together in like That's a couple smart. weeks. That's smart. Dude. That's good. Dude, you should totally join us with that. <laughs> Yeah, actually, Pearl was, um, I got Diamond and Pearl as a gift from a friend yeah. when I was really young. Yeah. That was actually the first Pokemon game I played. Oh, yeah, same here. Yeah. And, uh, I got so, my, I had no idea what I was doing. Yeah. Ouch. Oh, no, oh, no. Oh, oh. I'm good. Zero deaths. Zero deaths. Uh, so, like, I pretty much, I caught, like, a, a Shellos. Oh, evolved yeah. Evolved into, like, a Gastrodon. The blue one? Yes. And that was like my that was like my main guy the whole game. Really? I don't know if he's good or not, but No, he's good. I love Gastrodon. But uh he was my main guy the whole game. Did you do you remember who you started with or no? Piplup. You did, okay. Yeah, but then I gave him away because well, I got tricked I into it. Ah Yeah. I think I don't know if I got him back. It was like somebody was like, yo, check out this ratatat I found. It's super rare. Some probably something like that. <laughs> my stupid ass. Oops, oops. Uh oh. Is that a kid? Dump him in the water. <laughs> <laughs> That's the plan, my friend. Fuck you. Where'd he go? Oh, yeah, you saved him. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh. Uh, they, they, like, they just shoot back to Mrs. Puff. <laughs> that was really funny. I didn't expect that. <laughs> <laughs> Man, SpongeBob should be a baseball player. If you can knock a kid all the way in that direction, imagine, imagine. what he could do with just a little ball. Look. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I constantly think of? Huh. Uh, Yamcha from Dragon Ball is a baseball player. I know. Dude. Did you watch the Super Filler episode? The f oh, yeah, baseball? where they play baseball. And yeah, he's that's like, funny. Dude. But it's amazing. Like, if one of them played a sport, they would make absurd amount of money. I know. Because they would be so that's what, unbelievably amazing. That's exactly what I was thinking if I was a part of that universe. I just... Yeah. I would just play one sport. Yeah. Imagine joining, like, like UFC. That'd be a little mean. Yeah, that w that'd be extremely mean. I saw... You'd probably kill a man. So you know Team Four Star, right? Yeah. They made a Dragon Ball short video. Mm hmm And it's basically all about Yamcha playing baseball. But basically, he wins so much and so often. Like, every time he's at bat, he hits a home run. You know what I mean? Yeah. So he wins so much and so often that the game becomes boring and everyone stops watching the game. <laughs> so he gets like, fired and... Um, you know, they give him like a lot of money in Zenny or whatever. Yeah. Uh, but okay. it, but it's all about how he destroys the game because he's so unbelievably good at it. That's hilarious. <laughs> oh, dude, that would kind of suck though. Yeah, like just one person who wins Sponge every Bob. game. Bubble buddy. Bubble buddy. Why yes. Oh, let me guess. Ask him for a favor. Uh, yeah, ask him for a favor. Fuck. Oh, fuck you. Old Pop his ass. It's funny, whenever Sandy and Patrick ask Bubble Buddy, like, what are you? And he's like, I'm just a figment of Spongebob's imagination. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I checked that out. So this is a sandcastle competition, and we're about to go in that big castle to get spatula. But look at this. There's a, uh, there's, a there's an Atari controller. <laughs> That's pretty sweet. Wait, can you destroy him? Can I what now? I thought you could destroy him. No, you can't. You stay. <laughs> I would see that watching that kid cry. Ew, why is he so ugly? <laughs> Alright, I have a question. Is there ever an episode where they try to s teach SpongeBob and Patrick how to swim? Yes, but no. Do you remember the episode where SpongeBob was a lifeguard? I do. That episode's really funny. Yeah, and then they get cramps, and Larry puts them in the kiddie pool to learn how to swim. Yeah. That's an earlier one. That's a funny episode. Yeah. Why do I know all this? Because you watched terrible. it too many times, man. But it's good. I can rewatch the first like three or four seasons over and over again. Wait, 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 wait. I, I just comprehended. Are those like dragons? Yeah, they're like dragons being the firemen. Oh gosh. Dude, you want you want you want to see a speedrun tactic? Look at this shit, buddy. Oh my god. Dude, I'm Ooh, pretty ice. much a speed. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. <laughs> oh, I, okay. Uh, pick it up here and, uh, and jump. Jesus. I was just walking on water for a little Smart. bit. Smart. I'm Jesus, man. Patrick is <laughs> Patrick is the savior. <laughs> there's gotta be an episode like that, right? Because there's always an episode in those cartoons where like the dumb character gets treated like a god. Remember the episode where Patrick was a king? I don't. You don't? Why do? I, this is sad. 
No. No. Wait, explain it to me though. So there's this guy who uh there's this guy who comes to SpongeBob's house mm. and Patrick like thinks he's like a librarian, like come and like arrest him for not turning in his books or something. Oh yeah. And it turns out to be just a guy oh, yeah, who's I've telling Patrick that he's like the king. He's like royal blood. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, I remember that episode. That's a funny one. And it turns out to be Gary. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, 23% done with the entire game. 23? Yeah. Oh, man. Alright. Okay. Ready, ready, ready. What Boing. is the record for this game? Like, rehydrated. Hey, oh, there's a lot of this categories. But boom. the quickest category... It um, it's like... Oh, it's under 7 seconds. Oh. That's, yeah. That's so stupid. Yeah. Um, there's a glitch in the computer version. Oh, we should end this episode here. But <laughs> Let me hear it. We've been rambling. But there's a, there's a glitch in the, um... In the computer version, that when you when you go to like the pause screen like this, and you select a location with the controller's select button and the clicking of the mouse select button. Yeah. See, like if I go here, it says I haven't I haven't been here yet. I haven't reached this task. It skips. It skips. It skips the whole game. that um, you haven't been here, so you can just skip right to the end. Oh, that's that's pretty. That's kind of BS, but yeah, that's kind of yeah, cool. Hundred BS. Well, anyways, uh, next time on shelf life, I'm gonna jump into this cave, and then we're gonna have a good time. What's in the cave? Uh, your imagination. Oh, pull your pants up, Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> All, right, All right, see you guys next Thank time. Thank you for watching.